And welcome back to the Everman Guys. I'm Jim. I'm Will. I'm Marvin. I'm Harrison. And I'm Julian. And this week we are talking about the game. Fuck them, baby. <laughs> and, I was wondering if that uh, was going to come up. I know. I the Eagles. The Eagles. The Eagles. The Eagles. That's all I have to say. I know. That's all you um, can say. All we can say. And then we're going to do a little bit of a, like, a listy kind of thing. A and then I, I, a silly little I so list. wish that I didn't <laughs> do this. List. I so wish that I didn't do that. But I did, so whatever. Uh, we'll move past it. Um, <laughs> but to start, how were you guys' Thanksgivings? Oh, my gosh. Well, Bruh. If you if I we I did get know. to witness their plates that they had said How and it was true. No, it was good. I didn't see Ian's because I was yeah. Ian wasn't there. He came later, but I did see Jake's. It was it was it was decent. It was decent, yeah. it was good. It was decent. and moderator. I got Jeff. basically all that you did. Yeah, you moderator Jeff. I moderator Jeff. I did not see his plate. He was, uh, it was not a not I'm all sure all he was <laughs> lacking in the meat <laughs> selection of it all. I'm sure I had a lot more meat Bruh. than you expected, right? I would say. I would say yeah, compared to what he said, he probably did it on purpose. Dirty dog. He's so oh, scared. He's he sure so scared. Dirty dog. Dude, um, I ate more this year than I probably ever eaten at Thanksgiving. I know. You set your plate a little yeah. bit too late. I in was 12 already, minutes. I was in the middle of in 12 eating. 12 minutes, yeah. Will plate. ate it in 12 minutes. I ate mine in six. <laughs> yeah, but you could have seen it. Okay, so what happened was I posted it on our friend's group chat, and someone commented and said, oh, 12 minutes ain't bad. And I didn't even realize that it could be time stamped because it was like, oh, well, I posted the plate full and the plate empty. So then you guys were like trying to beat the time. And I was like, I could have had better time. We weren't really if trying to. We just <laughs> did because me and that friend were challenging each other because we were <laughs> in the same place. Uh, two and a half. <laughs> that was my plates. Two it and was half. beautiful. I, I give Thanksgiving half. this two year two 10 out of 10. 10. I don't know. I, don't, I didn't yeah, go I by a, plates. I went by time. Like, What'd you guys do in the morning uh, of Thanksgiving? Went to the parade Dude, with you. you. With that was excellent. Yeah. What did you guys do? You know what do? we did? We uh, slept in. Uh, yes. Lazy, disgusting <laughs> slobs. Dude. That was disgusting. So you just you slept in and slept, then... Slept, woke and up then... and watched the Thanksgiving pod. Yes, we did. Oh, Instantly woke yeah. up. Yeah. And if done, you haven't watched, watched the whole that, podcast. you should Go watch, watch the Thanksgiving pod. Everybody, thank you as for commenting. As, yes. as a family, as a family. we watched it. Yeah. Also, That's the uh, weirdest thing ever. Also, we just released a football challenge video. If you have not seen that... Make sure you go Do watch it. that, and also remember to subscribe, comment, and like yes, so we, that you're updated when new stuff comes out. And we appreciate the comments letting us know your yep. Thanksgiving plates on I, all of you sound like normal people. Yeah. Most. Most sound like normal mm -hmm. people. And so, uh, I slept in Thanksgiving morning because I didn't – okay, I didn't realize, but Black Friday morning was going to be amazing. What happened Black Friday morning? So I went – I went And to that's the, all the time we have. <laughs> I went to the Phillies uh, – Stadium to shop at their store. The new store. And heard when I got down there, I realized that you can go in the dugouts. So I went on the field for the second time, which is crazy because I would have never thought that I could ever do that, and got to go in in the visitors dugout and the Phillies dugout. Question. Well, two questions. Now that you said that. First of all, how? Second exactly. of all, who wants to go to the Hell. visitor's dugout? Because <laughs> it was wide open. Yeah, and I, if I'm on the field, I'm going to the dugout. I knew he was Did you walk the field? No, you're only allowed on the track. But I touched the grass even though you're not allowed. And <gasps> rubbed dirt on my hat. Dude. But don't tell the people. Dude. Guys, listen. Guys. Get him. He's Guys. here. Everyone. That's the second time. The first time when I figured I had to take When we have Topper yeah. come on our so show, I rubbed it on my he's going to hear the hat. I knew he was going in. This is his new hat. Nice. That he got from the team store. I didn't want to go. Who would you guys rather? Who would you guys rather have on our podcast? Nick Sirianni or Rob Thompson? Nick Both Sirianni of together. In a <laughs> no, Sirianni would probably love this. That's Rob, but Nick is way more fun. Than Nick is. Like, God, he would probably man. be a, a, a fun time. But Nick is one of us. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's, that's true very fair. Is. That's very fair. Um. But we'd love to have them both. <laughs> um, well, so, so how was it? Like, did you meet? Dude, did, it was did you... awesome. But so I got to stand right behind home plate, but on the track, uh -huh. and just like look out at the field. It's not like I'm not. I I suddenly am like not amazed that they can hit the ball that far. Right. It doesn't feel like it's that far for a home run. The more amazing thing is that. Three people can control that outfield. Because so wide, I guess. Because the outfield is so wide. Right. And when you have Odubel Herrera, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> but like, and when you have Yohan Rojas, like, now yeah. I realize yeah. why saved. the seats behind home plate are so expensive because uh -huh. they're crazy. But like, standing in the dugout, and I just went and like stood in Rob Thompson's spot, and I'm like, this is pretty sick. And then I sat on the bench for a little bit, and then like, 
you realize that the people are stinking tall because yeah. I have to like, climb up yeah. on a little ledge to like do the little hang. And like Reese and those guys yeah. are standing there looking over. No, yeah. like, like they stand like this where I would have to stand like this. Like it's not that tall, right. but yeah. it is. Like, it's pretty tall. The dugout is smaller than you would think. Yeah. Like Even it's just really like narrow, small. more narrow. Is yeah. that what you mean? Yeah, like, or not like real overall, long, right? Not real long, right? But, I yeah I I walked over to see if I could see in the clubhouse, but the doors. Dude, that's a goal of mine. I've never been down to a field or anything like that. (laughs) The the most that I ever did was go on the Sixers court. Right, I've never been anywhere three times. Uh, No, I was actually on the field at the vet before it was uh, the last game at the vet. For so I went to the Phillies game this year with, and actually, so I went with my girlfriend's brother. Yeah, I remember that. Got to go on the field. For the photo night, and got pl- pictures with the players, and then went with my girlfriend's family shopping there. Got on in the dugout, and then I was like, "So I got to go to there. I got to go to the Eagles. Just stop. Field. <laughs> yeah, we, we were going anyway, for moving a, uh, on. And we were going to be able to uh, skate I know, on the that's flyers. That's the only thing that I need is the flyers. And we, we were going to like we had it planned. Oh, Everyone was going. Then yeah, we COVID were going to go on the I flyers. I wasn't on the yeah. ice, but I stood right in the doorway because what well, some of our. Uh, church group played there oh yeah, after, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we uh, i got to like stand right at right. the ice uh, uh that's the most i ever did i've never been on any of them i've never been on any of their service that was cool on sixers court um <sighs> that was a good story ian i'm very happy moving on from even though i'm jealous i had yeah. a lot of fun no, no i'm happy you for would you too. i don't care happy speaking of 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 happiness and the fact that ian's happy and we're not um <laughs> our fantasy football league yeah. uh, how's the best manager doing uh, I hasn't lost. won a darn thing. Hey, no, hold up, to hold up. me, hasn't done a the darn thing. The second best thing. manager ever since he came on of the, the two worst. Will's four. <laughs> <laughs> ever ever since he week. came on and bragged about how good he was. I know. He oh, yeah. 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 You I lost to me. Twice. How embarrassing is that? Yeah. Yeah. I lost to us. Exactly. And I, I stink. And four. Yeah, you came on two weeks ago and said you were the best manager. I yeah. am. No, you're not. That's why I believe he's not wrong because he had the best record. Yeah, dude, who do you think's ahead of you? Yeah, your big brother. Me. To Ian. Don't touch the iPad. He's probably as small as Ohio State. See? Um, Will, by the way, you had Mark Andrews. Yeah. You had Mark Mark Andrews Andrews last week. And he's on IR. That's because I knew I didn't need him to win. (laughs) You didn't win. Wait. (laughs) I know. I wasn't going to win either way. I scored 189 (laughs) points. Shut up. (laughs) <laughs> um, hey, to be fair, it was Thanksgiving week. I optimized it and everything, and then I didn't know. Can I just say? Can I just say? Um, this is this is my production last week. I had <laughs> the choice: Lamar Jackson and Justin right. Herbert were playing you know each other, right? I'm doing that. Too. Lamar Jackson <laughs> and Justin Herbert were playing each other. So I put yeah. Lamar Jackson because I figured the the Ravens' defense is better than the Chargers, right? Yeah. Lamar Jackson got me 18 points. Yeah, well, whose fault is that, Jim? Justin Listen. Herbert on my bench. Guess how many points he got me? 19! Guess Nothing what? better! Listen, to make you feel better. I don't feel better. I had Dak me. and Jalen Hurts, and both went for 40 plus. I, I, and I had Jalen <laughs> on no. versus you with I 49. Got 49. Like, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know what? Like, I feel like I had a good team, and like somehow I managed to only get 83 points. Like, I don't know. Because you had Mark Andrews started, and he's on IR. No, I'm talking about week 12, bud. That's what last okay, week. Okay, but okay, okay. Mark Andrews comes on and gives me 12 points. Whoop de doo. I'm at 90. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I don't like, know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That's why they are good. 34 Brass, points. 34 points. I know, but the, the, the issue is, is I just I think it, it's all kind of luck. In one of my other leagues, I had Kyron Williams on my injured reserve with 30. <laughs> Two stinking points. You didn't have DJ Moore on your bench with yeah. 49. For perspective, Mark Andrews, the week, the pro, the week prior, got me 2.3 points. I don't want to pull a Jake True. and start bragging. And then, right? And so, uh, he pulled a Jake. He's uh-huh. pulling a Jake. He's going to lose you're the next going two to. weeks. I'm going to do it anyway. In one of my other leagues, I'm 10 and 2. And I do not know. I have no idea. How. I don't I'm either. In, I'm in every single league that what he freaking do? He's 10 and 2. There. Um, Why don't you just go and fill Well, you have again, three yeah. players that are not playing this week against me. I know. I'm three players work, on your bench. I'm on working on it, dude. Okay. I like every because my team is full of Ravens. Players. I have so many waivers this yeah, week I and Raiders it. players. Because yeah. Ravens and Raiders like, are really we should good. Do like, I have a waiver and Raider and we should do like a basketball and fantasy um, next year. So, so let's do the fantasy. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> um, let's do the fantasy rundown. We have Ian the Pigskins in first. 
Uh, at eight and four, um, nothing really to say here. He offered me a trade no. the other day. And you should have accepted and it. And there's no way I was going to accept that trade. There's no way. You don't need Christian McCaffrey at this point in the season. He is either. the <laughs> only person getting me points. <laughs> he well, he, 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 he got, got 25 yeah. points. More than both of my quarterbacks. <laughs> then we have the dog bones. Ew. Jake. Ew. No one likes that team. Uh, uh, again, Jake. eight and four. <laughs> then we have me, the aluminum tornadoes, the very poor, unfortunate Wait, souls who keep on. getting busted on. The only at thing four is your name, eight. the only promising point of your team is your name. Dude, I was going to say, at least you and I are front runners with their name yes. and logo. Yes. Yeah, with the the my miles. The pink skin. Oh, where'd you get that from the actual ball? Wow, the dog bones. I what are dog. you, a dog bone? <laughs> well, yes, Jalen Hurts says his name and didn't even Hertz pick him. Donuts. Then the Hurts Donuts That's at, four, at four and eight. And we play each other this week, so we can put some separation yeah. of one game between us and then you lose listen. to Ian and Jake the rest of the way. It happens every time. Yeah. They play each other, one of them wins and goes ahead. Then they play us two, and both lose. of them lose, and the next guy goes back to the yeah. Yep, yeah. it's a recurring theme it's here on the Everyday. Jake theme. and I crack up about it all the time. Yeah. Jake I don't know. I'm suck. like thinking about like, okay, well, next year when I do it, what can I do better? Uh-huh. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the project. Well, take Christian McCaffrey, number one overall, and then hope that every Everyone else does well. The projected yes. playoff right now is the pigskins versus the Hertz Donuts. So that is <laughs> the the dog bones versus the <laughs> aluminum freaking tornadoes. And I will tell you what, there is a storm coming for you, my father. I will kill you. And it is a light rain for and five to ten minutes. <laughs> it is a smattering of Christian McCaffrey and Maybe I'm Travis Etienne, and that is all. <laughs> that is I'm good. so tempted to play like the number four running back. In the <laughs> no. no, dude, I have the, look at my team. Like, like I'm, I I'm cannot get myself to okay, start. I the Steelers you, have been pretty good. For could I not also say the same thing? Look my at wide my team. receivers are number one, number two, four, and seven, ah, or something disgusting. like that. It's like, and then I have somehow I've just tanked Dell. It's just right now I'm just rolling nowhere. with the fact that Justin Jefferson got hurt and he was my number one pick. And he's well, back at least now. He's, Coming back. I know, but I'm just saying. Well, it doesn't Wait. matter. You're making the playoffs even if you don't want to. <laughs> I know. Yeah. It's not yeah. like we have uh, four teams, though. It's only frustrating because I know all the punishments are coming at the end of the year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why I'm so happy right now. We'll see. <laughs> Will no, has three and I have yet. one. We're doing, we might not we're have time. You're only saying that we might because not you have don't time. have any. <laughs> you're not going to have any. You might not have time for it. That he wasn't yeah, the only <laughs> other guy that's not going to have any punishments. I said he should. No, after the first week, Jim's like, he should. We already came up with the plan. We're not he switching three. He has three and I have one, he really gets screwed. And and now I don't look really, who wants to switch it. I don't want to switch it. All I'm saying yes, is, even do. if I'm the one who gets the punishment at the end of the year, doing three punishments is stupid, and he's not going to do them. <laughs> no, I'll do them all. I'll do them all. No, for we the, have to. I'll do them all for the pod. We'll see. Um, now we'll get to a subject that we don't really need to take a ton of time on. I just think we can blow past it real fast. Um, it is. Stop. Are you talking about the shirts that we're all wearing? Is no, that what you're referencing? Actually, I was going into the most memorable catches from college and NFL. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just kidding. We're talking about the, the game. game. <laughs> Ian, get us started. What's the song that they were all singing? It's good to be a mystery. No, no, no. no, we have to think of it because it was in, uh, I know, but don't. But I have to think of the tune. Like it's, yeah, it's I don't great. want it to be. To be. Something I know, but yeah. I don't want to be. Michigan Wolverine. It's, it's going to be a Michigan Wolverine. A Michigan Wolverine. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Yeah. It's to be a Michigan Wolverine. It's good. To be a Michigan Wolverine. It's good. All right, that's enough. Okay. So I told you it was going to be the most stressful game. Of it all. is not wrong. It was. It, it was the absolute most stressful game that I've watched in a long time. A long, long time. Boy, was I extremely happy the way, like, when they got the pick, but I thought for sure on that last drive, the way that Ohio State was just moving right down the field. Like they did the prior drive, the prior two drives. I did not like the play call of Michigan on their final drive to hand it off and then kick a field goal. We can't talk about play calling and being upset with it until the Eagles. Yeah. (laughs) A touchdown touchdown would have just iced the game, but instead we decided to kick a field goal and only got six. But, again, Kyle McCord is not that good. 
and I don't know how many times I have to tell You're people that. that. And I got a Kyle text Michael. saying that he's just because he's it's young and he's learning, and I don't care. It's because he's a Buckeye, and it's because he's a Kyle Honda Accord, and he's no good. Could you possibly say that you could say that he like it's he's like the what? same he, uh, as the Rav Fourth inning? Like, cause he's a Honda Accord. Yes. I don't think so. No. I don't think it's the same no. because it's here's almost why. Because of like he has Maserati Mark, uh, but he's still down at Honda Accords. Right. Of course. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Will. Wait. Wait. No. Don't. No, I'm not. The longer Michigan fan. Yeah. I want to talk to him, and then I have a specific question for you. Mm -hmm. Um. Do I it. like that they won. So will. Um, <laughs> <That's it. laughs> yes. <laughs> I like that they won. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to tell you how much of an inspiration also you are. I wanted an Xbox and for also Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Jake. Oh my gosh. Um, I think everyone stopped watching at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear this. <laughs> I. I Key moment. I don't even know Key moment. He's talking, at least what do you? What do you? How did you feel? How something. did you feel? I was very scared. Like I was actually very scared on that last drive. Cause like, imagine if we didn't go to the playoffs. I can't imagine now that they have been going to the playoffs like without it. So I thought Ohio State was going to um, get a game-winning field goal, and with that first play down to Marvin Harrison, it just twenty-plus yard catch down the sideline to. Start to drive is like frightening. Yeah, literally, they're and just driving right down. It, Michigan, it was the same. Michigan the couldn't get any drives. pressure to save their lives in the first half, and then started to a little bit in the third quarter. And then it was one play that helped them, and they got an interception off it to win the game. Dude, the the two times right, well, there's two times when they made contact with Kyle McCord. Two times, correct? I don't well, think I'm exaggerating. Sad. Right. Well, yeah. But the only other time score. they. The only other time they touched Kyle McCord is that last play. Yeah. And that caused a pick. I don't want to say too much because I don't want to take away from uh, the doc that we're shooting. Um, but I'll just say it was, it, was, it was so awesome being excited about college football. Like, I would say I, I'm, NFL is number one on my list as far as, like, who I'm a fan of. Um, but... It's like every every year, it's like college football comes around, and like, what do you do? Like, you just watch the big games, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like you take it for what it is, and then that's all you really do is you pay attention to uh, the big teams that are playing each other. Yeah. Jeff's struggling to get Jaren out of the door. You, the big teams that are playing each other, and it's like, of course you're gonna watch those games. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did everyone need a moment? Um, no, we're good. We're good. Um, <laughs> Keep going. And, uh, like, of course you're gonna watch those games, yeah. but like. This year, with the whole doc that we're shooting, everything around Michigan, yeah, it, it was it was so awesome, <laughs> and it was like I'm excited for college football, yeah, yeah and it got me like it was exhilarating watching it because I had a rooting interest and I was actually rooting for a team. I wasn't just rooting for a good game, right? And we got like the freaking one of the best, probably the best college yeah. football game I've watched. The last two years, Michigan has like e easily won. Yeah. This game, it was, like, very close all the way to the end, last drive. And, dude, and that's what made it, it – it was very stressful at the moment, but in the end, it was, like, it's almost better that it was I have close. two questions for you. Yes. Okay, so as the one two, two whole trying questions. to get you into Michigan at all, how much bigger did it come across to you, uh, like, the Ohio State game over every other game? And what are your thoughts on Blake Clown? Because he's literally my favorite human being. Right so, now. like, what? Why was it different watching Ohio State? Like Suzanne the Michigan Ohio State you. game compared to even like the Penn State game, which was supposedly a big game. Uh, the difference was just understanding how powerful and uh, skilled the Ohio State is compared to those other teams. So it's like knowing that going in, you're expecting to get nervous. You're expecting to have a tough game. So it's like. It's the same reason going into, uh, like, the Eagles, this the last run that they just had. Everyone was saying, these are the big games. You're not really concerned about the games before that. Going into Ohio State, I was expecting, like, there's a chance they'll lose. So coming down to it, and it's more like after, honestly. Like, yeah. after realizing, like, oh, holy crap. Like, I, I want to see more games like this. Yeah. And, like, at the Penn State game was <coughs> exciting, but I didn't even really get to watch that. So it was yeah. like, I watched what I could, but 
And Kyle McCord, like, I mean, showed me nothing. Like, I don't see the difference between him or, like, any other average quarterback in. One funny thing is the only snap I missed all game. Same. I'm so mad. Was the first pick. Oh, why? oh yeah. Why? Oh, so why? okay. So let me tell you because you story. guys weren't there. So I wasn't there. So um, Ian and Jake both go out. Uh, one of them's getting food. One of them's going to the bathroom or something. And Jeff, like literally right after they go out, goes, "Oh, come on!" And then uh, Gary comes running in. He's like, "What happened?" He's like, "Nothing. I was just saying it to be like uh, whatever." Not even like five seconds later. Literally like. Immediately, after. they throw a pick, and we're like, "Are you kidding me?" That's and they great. come flying in. They miss the first big play listen, of the game. Oh, it was, goes to commercial break. It was the right? best. I don't. It was the best. I, that you commercial have, break was the, like, no, you, no, 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 no. you have yes, to burn was. all it your Michigan nice, stuff. You normal can't. commercial break. I went to the one bathroom we have in our house. Oh, that's taken. Right, so okay, we never have both used at the same time. Yeah. If I go run upstairs. <laughs> oh well, that one's taken. Come back that down. This still taken. So I'm like, all right. It's the last. It's, you know, like they show, like if it's on Fox, they'll uh, give a Fox show, and then it goes into the game. Yeah. It's just starting that one as the bathroom opens, and I'm like, I literally bolted there, and somehow they do two plays, in that and time. finish a commercial before I'm out. Listen, I think you have to get rid of all your Michigan it made, stuff it, and burn it. It made it more exciting. Um, it was like, also, if Michigan would have lost that game, like this is first of all, it's already big enough. Yes, we talked about it's this. It's already big enough. It's the best rivalry in sports. It's already big enough, but if they would have lost that game, they're out of the playoffs. Yeah. Not only that, our doc is significantly hey, different. Because Aren't it, there four teams four teams in the playoffs? Yes, but, yeah, but there's four there would have been four, there's like, three that are undefeated. One, there's uh, four undefeated. So yeah. who's, the, been, who's the other in the Florida State? Right, they just did the rankings uh, tonight. Because Georgia, right. Georgia won. I forgot about Michigan, Florida State. Washington, Florida State. Like truth like <coughs> I hope I hope you guys, our fans, all you guys. Stay tuned for this documentary that we've been yeah. talking about because <coughs> at this stage, it could have been an absolute game changer. Like, right. like everything that's been happening right. is all just gearing towards this being like it's it's just all working out for the doc. Yeah. It's all working out. And yeah, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that because it's it's coming. And we've been working on it for since the beginning of the season. So, do you guys want to hear my experience with the game? Uh, yes. No, thanks. Let's move okay. on to the next topic. <laughs> yes, I do. I texted you. Yeah, I'll mute your mic right now. Do it. Don't, Don't touch. <laughs> I'm very um, interested. I texted you guys. Go blue. Yeah. You I did. told Will that was the greatest thing. He said he's there. Hold on. I was supporting. <laughs> I was supporting. Jim's a text because the night before. No, come on, baby. <laughs> they win. <laughs> They dominate. They're dogs. Um, so I was fully, fully going blue, right? Yes. Right. First half, locked in, ready to go. Um, this weekend, though, seemed to be the weekend that I took the most naps I've ever this taken. Guy. So what happened was, during the many, many commercials, I fell asleep. Dude. I no. woke this up guy. with this half the fourth quarter to go, maybe less than half. But what I said was... I saw the best part was the end. Yeah. And the beginning. No, the whole game. Okay. The whole Agreed. game was Agreed. exhilarating. Agreed. It was exhilarating, but when they, they lost me at halftime, when people start talking <laughs> a no, lot. you lost <laughs> you at halftime. I know, I know. I was laying on the couch. I was like, oh, I got that. Boom. That's gone. all right. Next asleep. year when we do our Asleft. Texas doc. <laughs> You'll all fall asleep. Hook em, baby. That's going to be baby. the title. Yeah. Hook em, baby. I can't wait. Stay tuned for that. That should be the title of this one. <laughs> Hook, em. <laughs> Hook em, baby. Um, that will not be the title. It uh, should be. No. Um, Yo. You can't talk. You be, did you miss? Late, uh, late so did he oh, miss? But if I, he missed can this, I say? If he missed this, oh, the, he's officially kicked the off. The doink? The absolute doink. Dude. Did you see Mikey Sander still? Absolutely. Oh, yes, he yes. smacked it. Obliterated. He smacked yes. 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 He yes. He showed him. me the video. Right in the face. I didn't see it a lot. Oh, wait. Was it? No. Oh, yes. In the game. Yes. I did, yes. I did see that. Yeah. I did see that. Bro, yes. Mikey Sander yes. still is like Brian Dawkins. He demolished what, him. What's even better, though? I was watching with an Ohio State fan. I did. Upstairs. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I went up and I, I, I gave him a hug and, consult, and, and consoled him. And said, you suck, and hook them. <laughs> um, and again, my whole thing with, like, Michigan is, like, I didn't go to college. college. I didn't go to college. Right. Why am I obligated to to root for any particular college team? Right. So that's why it was, like, um, 
Exactly. Again, don't want to give away too Dude, much, but that's it's, why he's it's he's college being, football. He's being courted by the Michigan fans. I've had a lot yeah. of people this weekend. Jim Harbaugh because I spent the whole weekend fans. wearing every Michigan thing that I have. Right, and which is every, one thing. Oh, yeah, he had a lot of, <laughs> every time I went out, someone asked me about the game. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. It was his mom outside every time he left. <laughs> <laughs> I know you want to feel important. Uh, that was the game. How do you feel? Um, I, as you can see, I'm not a huge Michigan fan. I am a huge Flyers fan. And they've been pretty good. <laughs> they're playing tonight, but they're on Hulu in ESPN+. Plus. So does Hulu know. even have live sports? I don't even I don't think know. it does. It hurts me to say it, but I don't hey. think it does. Do you um, know what you can get out of Hertz? What's that? Hulu has live sports. No, you can't. Hulu Shut does up. have oh, live sports. You're kicked off. Yeah, I, um, I, I and that promise, brings us to saw, our sponsor this I video. promise I saw on TV that Jalen Hurts' name, and he pulls it out and says Hulu has Yeah, it's I true. Agree no, he, it's true. I don't I think promise. it happens. Hulu does have um, live sports. You know what? Is that if you guys did watch that, that's a pretty good catch. Hook him! Baby. Can I can I please start? You can. Because I have the greatest. We're literally, not even ta- we, there's, what, there's no what, talk about what? Can I talk about what? Can I what if this? I said that we're going to talk about fondue this? parties in Pamplona? I don't can even I know preface what fondue is. Neither do I. Here's the thing. Preface. Preface away. I understand that OBJ was like the first one to do the most phenomenal catch. Whatever. That's not my. You can't take tell me that there hasn't been better catches than that. At this point, um, I always say that because I'm not a big Odell fan, and then I watch no, that catch and I'm like, okay, but I'm saying no, the listen, fact that he's dude, being like, pulled there's down been catches that are insane. this year yeah. that I would say is arguably better. Hold up, I'm. I, why best. was his? Hold up, well, is it because listen, this is three my fingers? This is my greatest catch ever, and I'm, I'm pulling like it up so that he can see it. Is because it because he caught it like I this? Watched I watched that highlight like a thousand times. I know. And I, I think it's I am not an OBJ fan. And I was not a fan because really, everyone I'm started like catching with one I'm hand. Just, like, I'm indifferent, but I think it I was think just it the big moment. It was like this is my favorite being catch. Being pulled from Dan behind. Dan Wade of well, I'm Ole Miss. Oh, oh, oh I've year. seen it. I've Greatest seen Greatest catch I've ever seen. Go okay, that's up. what I'm he saying. Was, yeah, I feel was, like you could say that multiple his, times. He did OBJ, but sideways hey, and Can you make this commercial longer? Yeah. Say, uh, say, th- yeah. He, this is the ground. This is ground. Uh, I'm going to play it. His body's long. usually like this. Long, 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 long. He's like this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That, that's like, that's better. Yeah, that's insane. The announcers didn't even know he caught it. That's yeah. how good. Yeah. Don't let him see the yeah. Avenue Orange case. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. They already did. Like, that's, uh, that's better. Yeah. Right? Am I wrong? Yeah. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> Do you think right, Odell's catch is better? underselling OBJ's catch I'm a not underselling it. I'm a saying little. that there has been catches that are easily comparable. I think, I think I'm comparable, I'm, yes, I'm but not com- easily better. Brent Grimes' pick in the end zone against whatever team it was. Last year? or the year No, before? a couple years ago. No, that was yeah. Kenny Several years ago. Last Several year, years that, ago. Yeah. Literally like the same catch. Yeah. George Pickens. I George know. Pickens couldn't George even Pickens. see the ball. OBJ yeah. was like this. Pickens, Pickens was like yeah. back yeah. behind him. DeAndre like, Hopkins He was like parallel some, to the ground. DeAndre Hopkins some, has some, some of the best. Okay. I have the other one. Can I start it? Yeah. Can I start it? All right. Can I just start it? We've already started, guys. We are well into this. I just said what definitely isn't. I said Ole Miss, Dayton Wade. What did you say? George Pickens. Yeah. And then he said about DeAndre Hopkins. All right. Yeah. Go. Uh, Julio done. Jones's catch in the Super Bowl. Which one? Dude, which one? Like you All right, I'll start those. with the Patriots. Patriots game. Which one? No, I mean, which one in that the Super Bowl? The toe tapper at the right, end the of the game. On the sideline? Where, where he went up into the fifth row of the stadium. Yes. With, but his feet were still in bounds. And his, yes. hand, his hands yes. reached the press box. It, yeah. This. Yeah. Because we're talking Shut about great catches. Here, that is a down. lot of noise on this desk. And you're going to break the desk. Yeah, but his feet are touching the ground. Guys, so the guys, the ground. I'm very concerned. So that, I don't know why I got that. That was one. phenomenal. <laughs> also, his when he ripped it out of the dude's hand, yeah. yes. Julio Jones is the best can catch. I, can I go real Just fast? Yeah, as a yeah. player. With one of the most miraculous catches I've ever seen, two of the most miraculous, and they're very similar. Number The first one was Troy, pa- Troy Palomalo. With that interception, it's tipped up in the air, and this man comes out of nowhere and just slides his. It's the ball has it's like, has let's touched say, like, the first blade of grass, right and he here. reaches under right and scoot like he 
That just was like one that. of the most amazing things caught, I've ever uh, seen. And I know that it sinks because it's the <laughs> Patriots, but in that Super Bowl against the Falcons, that Julian Edelman catch. I had oh, that yeah. down. Where it bounces up in the air and his hand just like that is what about it's the like, catch? It's one like, of the best catches I've ever seen. What better about, than the helmet catch in the Giants and Patriots Super Bowl. Yes. What about San Antonio? Better, better than that? Yes. Better oh, than that. Hold up, hold yes. up. What about, this is not my, yeah. This I have a better one. I'm just putting it out there. San Antonio Holmes' catch in the Super Bowl. Yes. Because that was some pretty good toe That drag. was pretty epic. That's like the same as Julio Second Jones. best catch I've ever seen behind, and it goes to college again. <clears throat> that Oklahoma dude. Last year, that's yeah, that was this way. That Who was crazy, insane. Can we do it like right now? Like yeah, do it. Yeah, do it, 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 yes. do it. Yes. Yeah. Just do it right in front of everyone. Literally it. goes like this. Like so I know. His receiver We're not is even here. Oklahoma. So you his can't receiver really is here. The throw goes this way. And he flat. I mean, like, parallel with the ground. That was yes. absolutely Snags insane. Snags it one hand out of the air. Absolutely insane. It is <sighs> crazy. I the think, um the one the I have on my list that he already mentioned Hopkins. Is the one where he got OPI, the offensive pass. Yeah, he, where it up, count. he caught it under his legs yes. one handed. I know. Yeah. He, he so had crazy. some unbelievable catches that don't count. And then count. there was one, I, I think it was against like the Jaguars or Steelers, in the end zone where it was like. Batting he, around? Yeah. Yeah, and it comes I, right I out. I forget to him. exactly yeah. how it was, but he had an insane catch. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> um, Justin Jefferson's catch against the Bills. You have that on your list. Oh, okay, yeah. so listen. But, listen. Can, I bring, but can I bring my he side? He bobbles in? it. He, it lands. He, I mean, it is a catch. Yeah. I hold this against him. I do not put that up there because all yeah. it takes is the defender not to put the ball in his hands, uh -huh. and it's not a catch. Yeah. 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 That's it. Like, it's still unbelievable, but yeah. I, I hold that against him because like, it wasn't... It wasn't all him. Yeah. It was a lot defender just giving yeah. him the ball. Basically. And uh, I'm not seeing this on the list, but like if you're going just like catches or like or you do like most spectacular catches, but if yeah. you're just going like memorable catches, it's got to be Stefan Diggs like up there. Oh uh, yeah. What uh, the, against the Saints? Minnesota Miracle? Yeah. Minneapolis. Uh, that, that's not. That's not one of the most memorable. That's one of the most memorable moments yeah, so in history. If, yeah. Not yeah, even yeah. sports history. Like that. In that, in my opinion, has got to be like. Can we talk <laughs> about that? That. Were you, you watching what? it live? You know, I was, I was yeah. watching it live. I was, I was in it my basement yeah. watching. We were in here in the TV. Got was, skipped all the way back. I was at Paula's. I we were. You were here. No, we wasn't. Yeah. No, I was at Will Paula's, was laying here. on her floor. We were here watching. I was in the basement. My dad was upstairs. I was describing. I was describing how insane the game was. <laughs> I said, and it looks like the Saints are going to win. And I go downstairs and I sit down. And I'm watching. I'm like, I'm just going to watch the end of the game. And then I can, st Joe Buck's uh, call rings in my ear. Dude, and when I he gets just to the end zone, like, I'm glad he didn't do a celebration. He just he stands just there, throws chucks the his helmet, helmet and, and I go, like, <laughs> I'm screaming to my dad, you guys yep. see the greatest so, play of all time. The best part about it is when they edit the Titanic music into it. And it just makes it like a thousand <laughs> times better. <laughs> so, oh, oh, dude, crazy. chills. Yeah, it was totally. awesome play. It was his his celebration Blown thing. coverage. So awesome. I was so mad. Why? Yeah. I yeah, did I not. To that I, Vikings defense was so good. That I did not want to play the this Vikings. This is the Braves Listen, all over again. <laughs> I did not want to play the Vikings, but I also did not like Stefan Diggs and still do not like Stefan Diggs. Right. And just didn't like the Vikings. I... That play was so amazing because the best part about it was they were on such a high and then they came to Philly and got trout. <laughs> also, <laughs> Smitty's catch against <laughs> last year against the 49ers to NFC Championship game. Yeah. Oh my okay. God. I was, was going to put that, that number. I was going to put it, but it's not a catch. catch. Not yeah. a catch. It wasn't a catch. What? The, the most it hit the ground. No, it didn't. Yes, it, yes, it, did. it was not a catch. It wasn't a catch. They just Absolutely. didn't review it. They couldn't because the they snapped the ball too. The big. best Smitty catch was last year against the Commanders. The one oh my gosh, he, where he, he went up and then the Batman? guy gray, the guy where he like grazed, he got slammed to the ground. Yes, he grazed Dude, a, a jet does it, going over. Doesn't the he stadium. have yes, a catch where it's like he catches it and just like rides on the defender? That's the yeah, catch. He had a catch against uh, Pat Sertan when they played the Broncos. Oh yeah, yeah that that Dude. was a that was an almost better throw. That was, that a, that was, that was a beautiful yeah. pass. Tyler that Lockett has good. some pretty good catches. Tyler Lockett yeah. has, uh, like, like, I remember when he was first in the year. He, yeah. He would, yeah. literally, he would get a kick at the back of his end zone and yeah. return it for touchdown, and then he would just, like, launch it 80 yards down the field. He would have no idea, but somehow just Devontae Adams yeah. has to have a good catch, catch against him. the Cowboys. 
Devontae Adams has some. Devontae Adams is the you greatest. Know who else? You know what Devontae is... Adams is, though? His route running is so good that, like, I know. Yeah, all his catches He's look so open. easy. He's... DeAndre Hopkins probably has, like, a thousand that we could have on the list, yeah. too. Because he was a jump ball guy, like Devontae Smith. Yeah, yeah. he had that hell But, like, like you said, like, um, Amari Cooper, uh, what's what was his name? Um, guy we just said. Devontae oh, Adams. Devontae Adams, like, yeah. those guys are, like. They're just open all the time. Yeah, <laughs> because they're just route runners. Like, like uh, A.J. Brown. A.J. Brown. A.J. Yeah. Brown. He's just, I mean. He's killing you with a route runner. Hey, the one against the, 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 the seven against the Steelers. <laughs> and like, or they're just in just coverage, and he just just, just, yeah, just, just, just going up and up. getting them. Um, before we leave this topic, there's an obvious number one. Do you guys know who it is? I know. Uh, OBJ is an obvious number one. No, no. I really no. way Wait, better than that. Is it not given yet? No. Oh, well, I don't yes, know. It has. I can't no, think of it. I think I know. I think I know. It's an easy one. If he says, I think I know. Nick Tory. Foles in the Super Bowl. Tory. Oh. Oh, Nick Foles yeah. in the Super Bowl. Yeah. No, oh, I was going to say the Nick Alshon Foles. one. You know what one of the most but impressive Eagles catches was? There's two. That Corey Clement touchdown in the Super Bowl. That was just a magnificent throw. Was yeah, magnificent. I put that on the throw. The flea yeah. flicker. The flea flicker to Tory Smith. Oh, in the yes. corner? The Wait, corner the of the dude. He went down yes. right the at the pylon. That was yeah. the NFC championship. Her, I know, yeah. but yeah. it was perfect. I, I can, again, remember Joe Buck's call. Foles, flea flicker. Oh yeah. my god! And he just—it's funny because I feel like that those are the kind of catches that should be on the like. Yeah. Depends on what you're doing the list for, yeah, but like but when you those kind of catches, catches of like, like the one that I, the two that I put out there, just like yeah, they're yeah. You don't even know it. Like you couldn't do that again if you tried. Yeah. If they perfectly threw the ball right there and you dove at the right, you wouldn't be able to. Do yeah. That. Yeah. You just oh, did. and there was a pick this year in college football where the dude caught it for overhand. Oh my, I know. I don't know. Oh, yeah. dude, no, back, yeah. behind the back. No, no, he caught dude, it literally like this. Go overhand. Roman Wilson, Michigan dude. Why don't you remember? He literally caught it. Oh over the yeah, dude's yeah, yeah, yeah. He caught it against the back of his own. But like, that's yeah, a yeah, like yeah, even yeah. those kind of catches. Um, like you've seen there was multiple a dude on the, uh, in college this year. Intercepted behind his back. Oh, I remember that. Yes. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. College, like that's college that's the has thing. So yeah. many good college things. football every college single year is, the is like a, it's a problem. highlight reel. Yeah. Just like you can watch any college a college game at any given right. Saturday, yeah. and you're gonna find like a yeah. Sports Center highlight most likely. Um, speaking of any given Sunday, um, Eagles will win. I know. Any given Sunday. I know. <laughs> or Ian's opinion, Sunday. and he hates the Eagles, and he really just wants them to lose. I do. Um, you talked about <laughs> Michigan versus Where did Ohio that come State. From? <laughs> <laughs> Just because he didn't like their win the last week. Yeah. Okay, um, look at that. Hold on, Stop hold on. Group chat. I just about. said <laughs> what I said because it's true. Should I read out our group chat? <laughs> um, <laughs> I like Stefan Dick. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, so what what I was gonna say is after Ian so rudely interrupted me, um, you were saying about Michigan Ohio State. Being cons- like, I'm not concerned, but of all the games this year that I'm going into it being like, I really just they need to win this game because I need them to win this game. It's against the 49ers this week. I'll take my my give is yeah. depends on the first half. I think they're gonna, they're the Eagles Does are gonna it lose. Though? If they show up and they're terrible yeah. in the first half, what does, does that tell you? Because, because you know the 49ers, the 49ers uh, yeah. are listen good to what enough. He said, listen to what I he says win. here. Say it, okay. say it. Go. 49ers say are good enough. To win with their play in the first Okay, game. okay. Let me just say this real fast. So all the stooges <laughs> on national media that say that very thing. All we heard about was that, well, you could do it against the teams you're playing early, but you can't do it against the Dolphins. They'll run away with it. Well, the Dolphins are kind of frauds, but when you hit that gauntlet of a schedule, you can't do that against Dallas, and then we do it against Dallas. Yeah, but you can't do it against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. <laughs> we do it against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. But what about Josh Allen and the Bills? Josh Allen and the not, Bills. Definitely not Even them. if Josh Allen plays super well, if you play the way you played against the Chiefs in the first half, you will lose against the Bills. But did we lose? And we what happened, did Jim? not. We keep fighting. We keep winning. And the 49ers, the 49ers are better than all those teams. No, they're not. Done! I am so passionate about this game. I am ready because you know what? Brock Purdy's going to be 100% healthy. And l- as long as they don't have a tight end, cover <laughs> Hassan God freaking Reddick. God forbid. Well, I just, Brock Purdy's better. He's actually running well. He's not fully healthy. Oh, uh, dang it. Okay. Low battery. Dang it. I know. His, Ooh, he's just coming off a situation. Bye. 
<coughs> All I gotta um, say is, wait, before you get into it. Yeah. You're not scared of uh, Debo and Trent Williams when they come out with the boombox? Be- Shaking in my freaking boots. <laughs> the, the funniest thing is how I keep hearing people say about how, like, they're just complete dogs. And they, they, they put fear in you. And then I watched a video of who did, the Browns and 49ers. They get in a yep. pregame fight. So Debo goes up and shoves the dude. They start coming back at him. And he runs, runs away, away and puts Trent Williams in front of him. And all I oh, hear like, is, all I hear is, they're the most complete team. <laughs> and then like, we lose Lane Johnson and still pull out a epic win against the Bills. They lose Trent Williams and drop three games in a row. No, but they're big and tough. Because they can push. Exactly. They can't, take, and anything they can't take anything back. I am not. I am a little bit worried if Lane Johnson can't play. Because uh, he's on Bosa's side. Why? No. Because, because the Eagles this will be lost. Lost. Against my There line. is okay. not. I this will just Jamar, say. Uh, no, not Jamar Chase. The Eagles, could, the Eagles could come out with everyone from Section 235 playing the backfield. Playing the secondary. I agree. I still don't think. I still don't know if I would doubt them. I don't. Like, Literally, the fact we, I'm saying, literally, I'm I wrote on our group chat. Like, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. We're we're gonna lose this game yeah. to the Bills game. And we, and then they bring in, I, I I don't know if it was Moses or who it was that they brought in to coach <laughs> the second half, but they brought in sure someone. It was Elijah. And I feel as if we had seven points like mid third quarter. Hey, I know. My full explanation is for if, <laughs> if Brian Johnson calls what he did in the first half against the Bills, that's why I think Here, they're going to lose. Here's what I'll say but against why? Brian he Johnson. He just did it two games in a row. <laughs> two games in a row against He's arguably, it, uh, well, because because arguably two because better quarterbacks to Brock I don't Purdy. know that I have any fear. Josh, really Josh, Allen, Josh Allen yesterday, by the way, was a little bit validating for me. On Sunday, because he was the best quarterback in the he league. He wanted the Bills to win Sunday, just so that no. he could be ready. He was the best quarterback. Yeah. In, he was the best no. quarterback in the league. No. And when he left the no. field twice, no. he no. had the lead. No, no, zero no. pressure. No. And no. you cannot no. say Hurts was Jaylen better. Jalen Hurts. No. Listen, Listen, when he here, got the opportunity, here's what I'm, he was better okay. than Josh no. Allen. Hurts had to run out of the pocket every single play. Jalen Hurts, in clutch situations, is the next Tom Brady. Yeah, you don't want to give you him any time. You don't see him. You don't see him. He you does don't not see fold. him in he the does first not half fold. maybe doing great things. But when he, that second half hits and it's cr- crunch time and you really put it in his hands and say, do this. And uh, here's what I say about Brian Johnson. I don't know if it's the scripted <laughs> plays in the first half or what. The but the coming fact, from the turf. Something. The fact that DeAndre Swift isn't even in your game plan in the first half is ludicrous. Why the do they fact, need to when they have Boston Scott? Because, listen, I heard that they, I heard <laughs> that someone brought up off. the idea that they're preserving DeAndre Swift for the playoffs, <laughs> which doesn't make sense. But then I also heard Jordan Mailata say, well, we went into halftime and we figured out what's not working and what is working and what plays we haven't run yet. And I'm like, like seriously, like what? Why is that? Like you couldn't have just realized during the whole first half <laughs> that a screen pass to Julio Jones on third and long does not <laughs> does work. Does not work. But then like, literally, you get these guys into space. That touchdown throw to AJ Brown. What a beautiful scheme. I know. What a that's not quarterback <laughs> or wide receiver. That's a why scheme does Devontae by the offensive Smith coordinator. come out of nowhere and is just like, oh, we have one of the I best know. receivers Devontae in the league. Smith, he's a I honestly wide receiver. think they have a twister wheel too. back there, and they're like. Uh, screenplay is like 50% of them, and then the other ones are like, yeah. throw it to our tight end, and then there's like two no, little slivers no, that are eight no, no, pounds by the way. He turns around on the wall, spins it, and then, the and then that's yeah. what they three did. Quarters of the you know what's so funny? Is <laughs> we have not been we, we always hate on the QB draw, right? Rightfully so. And then, <laughs> yeah. and then they and do that. I, my first text to them is, <laughs> you know, guys, I'm just going to say it. QB draw might be our best play. <laughs> Listen, it is in those moments, uh, but not, not in our territory on 321. And Dude. we're uh, like, it's the first half. I like, everyone I keeps saying, like, oh, well, I don't, uh, I don't want Jalen Hurts running because he's getting hurt. It's like, I want him to run. Yeah. He's the best running, one of the best. Like, when it makes but we sense. don't need to yeah. run him. Totally. All third and 21 up the middle. Yep. Yes. Like, I agree. This doesn't make when any sense. When you have DeAndre Swift, Rashad Penny, Boston Scott, and Kenny Gainwell, like, why do you have to run him up the middle in those situations? And why and do you have to run there. up third down anyway? And it's rainy. I mean, it's a rainstorm and you come out and you throw three times in a row and had to throw it away all and had to times. throw it away three times that's, that's, that's one me. thing that that's, my, that's my one thing with Jalen Hurts 
As he keeps running to the sideline and going out of bounds two yards behind the line of scrimmage, instead of just throwing it away. Yeah. Do you think that's because of his aim? He's doing it. <sighs> <laughs> he could just throw it away. That's the only reason yeah. why I was saying. Instead I think he's of, hoping to get those yards. Instead of just runs out of bounds. That's why yeah. I would give Josh Allen like better than Hurts because he threw the ball 51 times and completed 29. Yeah. He had like yes. almost 400 yards. Yes. He had like two touchdowns and two rushing touchdowns. He was, really good. He was really good. Well, he was... Had, I'm pretty sure two had a good game. <laughs> yeah. The Darius only thing is... even said it. He said, he said, if you're throwing, if they're talking about, he said, all they talk about is how he has this many interceptions. He said, but if they're having you throw 50 times, he's like, I don't know a quarterback you could find that doesn't throw 50 times and have a ton of interceptions. Yeah, no, I'm just... He's Jaylen just a hater. <laughs> I don't know. No, Hurts. Jalen Hurts is the Jalen MVP. Hurts is the MVP. So. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. One hundred percent. That was a lot, and they are going to go into San Francisco with beautiful. No, no, no oh, in Philly. Oh, let's Philly. hope it rains. No, I want a nice, this beautiful day. I, I want a good one. Like way San Francisco boys aren't going to be ready want, for this tough want, weather. Listen, Dude, I'm, it's going to be I'm freezing. I'm tired of hearing Debo cry. Yes. I'm tired of hearing the whole 49ers team I saying, if we had a QB, if we had yep. this. I want, I want perfectly healthy. I nope. want perfect weather. And I want everyone to line up because I believe the Eagles will win this game. Now, I don't know that they'll just come out and dominate and just like win by 20. I think this will be their best game it Prediction. will be yeah. like it has convinced. to be. Yeah. It, listen, the score won't be like, the score won't be like, yeah, because we win by double digits or something. Maybe not, but it will be convincing that the Eagles I, are better yes. than the 49ers. I what will it be? Agree with that. This final score. All right. So, real quick, props to those two. They were really close. Jake on was the Michigan, two points off. Yeah, and he was right as long as Mission didn't kick that late field goal. That late field goal. But we all were close with what we said. <laughs> we <laughs> overestimated Eagles. this the amount of scoring that was going to happen. <laughs> I will say 30, 30 to – see, I, I can't, I'm debating between going 30-27 or 30-24. So I went – win. But I'll go 30-24 Eagles. Jake? 31-24 Niners. 35-28 Eagles. 24 17 Eagles because yeah. I'm going the route of the lower scoring because I've been off on my high scores. I think it's, I, I think it's gonna be a high scoring game, and I think you're gonna need at least 30 to beat the, the Niners. I agree. Yeah. Niners are I going know. to I score. Feel like you cannot deny that. Totally. But I think the, that the, the Eagles, after their last two games, are like, all right, yes. we got to do something because we're scariest getting... Things, That's my the thing. scariest things. The scariest thing. My problem this yes. whole time is they're just playing with fire. The scariest thing that I see with the 49ers is the, the worst part of our team is the middle of the field defense against tight ends. Yes. And, and linebackers are non-existent. The be- and Cunningham just went down. Yeah. They Shaq have Leonard, no. they on. have one of Shaq the Leonard. best, if arguably the best, tight end in the league. I wouldn't say he's the in best, but Kittle. yes, I understand. Also, yeah. Debo Samuel lives in the middle. It lives in like, the middle. Not always. Yeah. He's just always getting those. And their run defense stuff. needs to step it up. I yeah, don't know. Run defense has been a lot better. They I don't the best, know. They have the best what, running back like, in the league, no doubt. I don't mean to like. I mean, I don't think Perry's gonna be like running all over us, but. Why are we not like? Why are you not spying I, quarterbacks that are clearly going to run? I agree. Why can't we bring Josh quarterbacks? Josh Allen is a good runner. I guess you Listen, are, Josh but Allen you got linebackers monster, that aren't. But the, we really had the same exact problem yeah. the week before with Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, just he could not, not a bring him to the game. Down, yeah. We would get touch him and all. But last thing on the Eagles is I know I just keep saying it, but I I hate that I have to keep saying it. Why? Like, why do we have to win ugly? I don't care. We won beautifully last year, and everyone care, had an issue about it. I'm starting to care. And we lost the Super Bowl. And so we lost the Super Bowl. I, I think I, the grit I, is good, but I think they just need to like show that they're like making adjustments. I think their first the half really needs on. to get cleaned up, and that's I need. They, I think they need to start. Uh, I don't know what it, I think the the playbook has to be fully opened. Like look, the very start think of, of it this way: we just put up 31 right against yeah. the Bills. Yeah. And we were, like, killing them in the first half. Imagine we had just a normal, good first half. Even a great we first half. We were killing half. them in the first half? No, you they, mean, no, like, they were we, killing like, us. Yeah. Us on our group chat. Because oh, yeah, we're yeah, killing yeah, yeah. the Eagles. Because yeah. they looked horrible. They were horrible. Yeah, Imagine right the Eagles so. just two, had two first a first half that you would expect out of yeah. the Eagles. We might have put up 60. Yeah. Like, that's, seriously. Yeah, like, that's, that's accurate. The thing, though, that I noticed, though, is our defense plays miraculously 
better in the first half than the second half. So it's almost it's like, like it's like so a trade tired. But I know it's I think their defense second, almost plays half. up to their opponents though. They hold they hold yeah, them to low I scores. See what you're like they like I they see what showed you're up big time against the Chiefs, yeah. Bills, Dolphins, even the Cowboys. Yep. And then uh, it was like the Commanders. Yeah. We were like, well, where's our? But defense? even so, it's like, Patrick Mahomes threw 300 yards. Josh Allen almost threw and ran for 400 yards. Two or threw. I mean, I'm like seeing more and more like the Dak like Brad threw almost 400. Like the Dolphins offense. Yeah. The Dolphins offense was the number one offense, yes. the number one offense yes. on, and we kept on the 17. So Bradbury is not good. Yeah, he's not good. <laughs> he's, not. he's not. I. It was I don't so know if it's obvious just an that off. game. I they're said both, it. I said they're they're both, so obvious. They're they're both both like, interception, of course. But I said I'm done. Like he, Slay though was really good. Slay only he gave is, up one catch. You can tell that they're both up there in age. Like yeah. You just see that. Yeah, more with Bradbury. Yes, but I feel like I feel like Slay, Slay hasn't been good Slay either. Slay gets the benefit of like he's our number one corner and yeah. they're not throwing it that way, because I feel like whenever they start picking on him, they're like teams can throw on him. He yeah. used to be where like, dude, you throw it at him, it's getting deflected. Now it's like I don't want them to throw it. Yeah, yeah, like literally last year. <laughs> That's yeah, my that issue yeah. with like a lot of people are talking about the front. The front I think is one of the best in the league. The issue is. Is the coverage on the back end? Yeah, they're but, throw, they're, but they're you can, can but you can blame a little bit of the defensive backs from that game. You can blame that on the front. I yeah, think but the, but against the, the Bills, the, the front yes. definitely the front a is defensive getting back home. is not expected to cover a receiver for more than five seconds. Agreed, but they're getting and home. They were asked. They're to. getting there in like two mm-hmm. seconds. They're the number one team in pressure rate. Usually, not, yeah, not last, not last game. game. Not la- not last as much game? last game. Yes, Dude, Josh Allen had all the time in the even world. James most Cook of was the time, running over us. So, most yeah. of the time. Th- talking about our front made me think of this. I just want to know. So Jalen Carter blocks the field goal. I, I want to know how the broadcasters do this. Like, they watch it live, and before they even share the replay, they're saying they, they're like, "Oh, I think it was big ninety eight, Jalen Carter." I'm like, "How did you see uh, that?" Yeah. <laughs> but, like, there's yeah. no way you know who I just think they like it real quick. Views. They get because at first they were like, "Oh, and he shanks it wide right," and then Tony Romo, which who. Tony Romo's Bro, whole podcast. Oh he, my would not gosh. Admit, he would say it like 99% I never noticed it before. I never noticed it before. He is but it was such, such an eagle was, hater. Yes. Oh my gosh. So I'm much. Sorry. I never noticed I know, it before. I did I know, you? Never. I liked listening to him. I don't him. think I, I noticed it. He's this still game. my favorite announcer. No, Greg Olson. He was so Him annoying Greg last Olson. game. I just have to say. I, he was so... He, he he bothered me more than he ever has totally, last like, game. It never bothered me. I've said it before that I, I like Tony Romo. Yeah. yeah and it was same. just like... I couldn't even handle you it. You would have thought that the Eagles were like 5-2. Five and two. Yeah. 5-2. Five and two. Dude, you would think five that with a lot, of, I know. a lot of Philly sports teams. And I know it just sounds like we're just like... I know. Oh, well, we're the, we're Honestly, homers, but like it seems like a lot. Like even when the Sixers would be in the playoffs, and it's just like you. What's like the it. infamous? Yeah. Um, and it's just like the Eagles are Chris just like, Collinsworth in the like, Super Bowl. Same like, thing with Nick Sirianni. Enough, like why is yeah. he not a Coach of the Year candidate? Oddly enough, the There's only no team that gets been. the respect they kind of almost over hyped by the me is the Phillies. I know the Phillies. Like I know because it's baseball loved yeah, by everybody. It's baseball. Yeah. Um, and it's probably literally just because of the atmosphere in the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, uh, the Braves uh, didn't get Sonny Gray. I know. <laughs> That's awesome. And they're probably and not getting Yamamoto. Japanese they're trying to get Dylan yeah. Cease. I saw that. I'm I'm ready. Like whenever you want to start bringing trades on, I'm ready. When Dude, is that? When is give me Josh Hader. Winter meetings February. coming. I want Dave uh, Dombrowski no, to December, go get Josh like Hader right now. I want Dave Dombrowski to get. I, I the more and more I think about it, and the closer we get, I want Farrell so bad. I'm starting to go away to where I like. Obviously, I'd love to have him, yeah. but I'd much rather go get Josh Hader. I think. I think you could get both. You ha- you can sign Josh Hader. I know, but it's just like I want. I would have a priority list. I would put Josh. Josh Hader, Hader in top. I agree. I'd rather have Hader and Cassianis than Trout. If you could only get one of Trout or Hader. I'd rather have Trout. I don't know because think literally, of it this I, way. I, think of it this way. <laughs> think of it this way. Think of it this Hear way. Hear me out. Say it. Think of it his way. Hold on. Well, if you think of it this way, Trout only plays like now 80 games. Now he gets to talk. If no. that. What? No, but look. Trout only plays like 80 games. No, but if you think of it this way. So sit him. It was Craig Kimbrell that the lost first us the game, right? Like, 80. We didn't necessarily <laughs> meet. Bats went cold. Our bats did. Bats went cold. But in the WBC, Mike Trout's first big bats thing, he got to do anything. 
bats went cold. Okay. He did okay. not. He did not fair, show up in the big minute. Fair, fair. And I, I would have liked that. to have Josh Hader instead of Craig Kimbrell in the playoffs. I 100 percent agree with that. We wouldn't have had to worry about our bats going cold in game. <laughs> um, who do you think is going to have a bag uh, a bagular redder reason? A uh, better regular season next year. Bryce Harper or Trey Turner? Trey Turner. Trey Turner. Trey Turner's going to be an Trey MVP. Turner, yes. Because he's playing. Because, because of Bryce Harper's Harper can't new have situation. A better, can't have a better season. Harper, Harper. He can have a better season on I, like, defense. I don't and then care. that'll even out. Here's how I'll put it, honestly. Harp, like Harp, I know what Harper is. Even if he he's doesn't Danny give Breer the of, best regular season, which he usually open. does whenever he plays, he's going to be there in the big moments. I want Trey Turner... Like Trey Turner wants to carry the most of the weight in the regular season to get us to the playoffs. Yeah. I want to see thirty home runs. I want to see stolen base. I want to see a bad average. And, the, and also, there's Trey no Turner? more getting what acclimated be, to his new yeah, place. He's, he's good. Ready. He's what ready. would be like very good for oh, Trey Turner head. is up there for Gold Glove, thirty home runs, around sixty. He's stolen not going to be up there for Gold Glove, right? Uh, perhaps. Last year was, he, last like, year was a very, very abnormal. Damn year, yeah. that was not he's not a good right. defender, though. He's not an excellent See, defender. See, that's what I hear. No. He's not a that's great right defender. No, he might not be go glove, but he's but way better than what he was last year. He's a good over 100 defender. 100 plus RBIs. Yep. Uh, and also, Schwarber's going to have a better year hitting, I think. Yeah. He, I mean, he hit 40, I was gonna say, 46 like, bombs. He also is, is but not even under, under 200. Castellanos like, is a little bit of a... I think his age is maybe showing a little bit. Yeah, it's a really bad season uh, like two years ago, and then last season was all star, better all star, but up and down. Yeah. Yes, um, I'll take it, but it's it was a little bit up. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. He's true. the reason that I would just go trade for Mike Trout. Yeah, because it's just like a little bit. It's just the fact that it's like I know yeah. we're just playing with like. It's just a luxury at this point, but like, uh, if I'm gonna have Mike Trout or Nick Cassiatis, I'm yeah. picking Mike Trout. Right? JT is JT at this point. JT, I, I, listen, I'm. T- people I keep JT. saying, uh, whatever. Like, why, he's you don't need him he's to be overrated. Like if you if you just take the best catcher in baseball title off of him, I think people are fine with it. And he'll. <laughs> and if the, if he didn't have that, I think people would put him would right be, in the yeah. conversation. I feel like yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, he might be one of the best. He's definitely gonna in be like. Yeah. Not as good as people think in the regular season, but he does step it up. He steps it up in, in big moments sometimes. Uh, not so much in the regular season. Yep. Um, but, yeah, uh, I'm excited. I think uh, Harper's going to have a big year. I think Harper's going to have a healthy year, more important. So, yes. Harper's going to have a full healthy year. I think it'll be year. safer at first. And Trout, if Trout plays, I think I'm not even going to get into it. I was going to say. Why. Because why? It's not going to happen. Um, Wait until it happens. One through nine, I'm solid with even right now. Uh, somebody said it was on Talking Baseball, which shout out Talking Baseball. Love that. The, you're, they're the, like, if I want baseball news, I'm going to Talking Baseball. Just a shout out. But in the future, you'll come here. But now, uh, yeah, but now I'll talk here and come here. But um, they said something about the Phillies that is a real big advantage this year is not a huge, not huge changes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like necessary. Hoskins leaving, but Hoskins wasn't here this year. Um, the the rotation we're one of the only teams that if the season started tomorrow, we're set. You know what I mean? Like we don't need to add a ton. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the bullpen is is questionable, but even so, like well, bullpen you just find random people all yes. the time, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. just kind of yeah. strike yeah. gold, or they're not good. I mean, you have pretty much everybody except for for Kimbrel and um, uh, who was it? Kimbrel. Alvarado. It's someone up now. No, Alvarado. Sorry. I know who it is, but yeah, I, Wait, I can't I, think I, of oh. it. I thought you were um, it's saying something totally different. But yeah, I think I think I'm 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 excited for the Phillies. Eagles, I am the my biggest thing, beat the Niners. You don't have to win the rest of the year. Beat the Niners. They don't <laughs> have to. They're in <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> Beat the Niners. Which is crazy. Uh, we want that one seed. I yeah. want it. Yeah, I want it too. I, want it. I don't want to go to Dallas. But yeah. Um like, comment, and subscribe. Do those things because when we, we post you're gonna yes. want to be notified. Big and plans in the future, by the way. Yeah, games please. are coming. Uh, this year we're gonna finish out the year probably a little bit normal. We have some content coming. Uh, you watch our football sh- uh, challenge, challenge video. video and the Thanksgiving special. Yes, it's not Check too it late. Out. I commented on there, but I'll say it again. Comment if you want more of those videos. Yes. Yeah, if you want more challenge videos we like that. More. We love making them. So. Yeah. Yeah, and we appreciate all the support <coughs> greatly. All of it. And thank you for watching. Yeah, 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 yeah.